Hi, this is Cat and Caramel, and this is me, Rich. We're headed to Rhode Island from New York City, so come along. Sound like Mr. Rogers. Follow me. From New York City, it takes about three to four hours to get to Rhode Island. For you, five seconds. After four hours of daunting traffic, we finally arrived at our hotel and it was time to hit the pool. Unfortunately, after five minutes in the pool, I lost my contacts in the water. I was blind. Day two, the game plan. Head to the Gulfstream Bar and Grill and get some lobster rolls. Ones that I forgot to take pictures of. Step two, check out the cool views, eat my lobster rolls, and head out to the Rail Explorers. We have now made it to the Railway Explorers. Main edition. No, Rhode Island edition. <laughs> Clearly, I'm awesome at narrating on the fly, but I'll stick to voiceovers. At the Rail Explorers, you get to ride pedal powered rail bikes over old train tracks. Pretty cool. At this location, you get to enjoy a leisurely six mile expedition along the coastal railway of Aquidneck Island, with views only visible from the unique perspective of the railroad. No, I'm not sponsored, I'm just reading off their website. It's a daunting task planning trips for your furry friend to join along. Lucky for us, Railway Explorers allows that. The whole experience takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending on the pace that you go, perhaps even longer. At the end of the trail, there's a bus waiting for you to take you back to the parking lot. Physically exhausted, we decided to drive downtown to the Nitro Bar. However, we found out that this is not New York City. Rhode Island coffee shops close at 4.30 to 5 o'clock. Yeah, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I needed my caffeine, so I booked it. Now that we got rejuvenated, it was time to hit up the cliff walk. On the cliff walk in Rhode Island. <laughs> There's nothing to say. We gotta do it. <laughs> we walked to the parking spot and we gotta do a detour to get onto the actual route. Uh, good start. If you didn't know, the cliff walk along the eastern shore of Newport, Rhode Island is world famous as a public access walk that combines the natural beauty of the Newport shoreline with the architectural history of Newport's Gilded Age. The walk runs 3.5 miles long, and about two-thirds of that walk is pretty easy. It's very easy to get lost in the beauty of this place, but keep in mind you can only park for about four hours. Keep that timer running and make sure you don't go over that limit. There's also a lot of places that you don't really know if you can actually go in if that's trespassing. So we didn't, because, you know just to be safe. So honey, what is this mansion over here? It's not loaded. <laughs> we had some ocean views, photo ops, and a lot of walking in different terrains. Natural stone, gardens, and even through tunnels. How did this get here? <laughs> the day was getting late and the camera was running low on battery. We found a nice place that we could do a photo shoot, so I decided to get a pump. So I know I'm looking fluffy because I'm on a bulk, but I decided let's see what we can get. No surprise, that got me out of breath. And look at this face. But I'm still pretty satisfied with the results. Needless to say, I think we got some pretty good shots. And Caramel was wiped out. It was time for dinner. We took the bus back 
and it's free for people doing the cliff walk. Otherwise, I believe it's less than $2, maybe $1.25. The dinner menu was gonna be seafood. Some surf and turf, scallops and risotto. Today was a great day. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll see you then.